Hi, I'm Jill Fry. Last week I posted up some photos on Facebook of some feathers. And a lot of people were interested to know how I went about it. So here you go. Here's how I did it. The technique, the equipment and the settings. Okay, so this is my setup. I purchased this light box on eBay for about $14. And I've got a power bank here, which I've got plugged into the LED strip that comes with the light box. And it's got a switch so you can turn on and off the LED light strip. It came with four backgrounds, so I've got black, white, green and red, but I wanted black in this case. And I've put a square piece of glass on the base for my reflections and my little feather. Now you'll see I've got the camera set up at this angle sort of slightly pointing down. And that's because with this background, if I have it, if I have my camera lower, I'll get this in the background so I'll see a definite edge between the the black glass and the black background. You do get a nicer reflection if you go lower but I need something else behind um, so it looks more seamless. Now with regards to lens and equipment I have here a Tamron 90mm lens which is a macro lens coupled on my Canon 6D. Okay, so let's talk about settings. I'll turn the camera on. You need to have at least f8 to get the depth of field and ISO 200. I also put it on a two second delay to make sure that there's no camera shake. I then press the live view button and make sure that my exposure is correct. You can make it faster or slower by scrolling your wheel to get the right exposure. And in this case, I think probably 0.4 of a second. The next thing is to make sure that your focus is correct. I have it on manual focus and by pressing this little magnifier here times one times five you can see that it's out of focus so then I manually focus to ensure it's absolutely sharp then just take the shot hands off And there's the result. If you want further depth of field, then all you need to do is increase your aperture. So make sure you're not in live view. Press Q and increase up to F11. Go back into live view and you'll need to increase your speed, make it longer. Again, check your magnification to get your focus correct and take the shot. So there you have it in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed the video and get out there and get shooting. If you did like it, please do subscribe to my channel because I will be putting up more videos shortly. And if you have anything that you want me to do a video on, then please put a comment below and I'll see what I can do for you. So hit the like button, put in a comment and ring that bell so that next time you get notified when I put up a new video. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.
Bye.